welcome back to our channel. Today we're here at Bible Walk in Ohio and we're going to check it out. It's breezy and cold yep. today. So we're going to do the two tours in this building behind us. We already did the ones that are in this other building. So we just got done with the wood carvings and that was cool. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot smaller than I thought that it was going to be, but it still was really cool. And I'm just impressed by like how he did all of them by hand. Mm -hmm. Like that's so insane to me. Yeah. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Jesus sent Peter and John ahead and said, Go and prepare the Passover meal so we can eat it together. When the time came, Jesus and the disciples sat down together at the table. But when the leading priests and other leaders made their accusations against him, Jesus remained silent. Don't you hear there are many charges against you? But Jesus said nothing, much to the governor's great surprise. As the crowds gathered before Pilate's house that morning, he asked them, Which one do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? And Nicodemus, a Pharisee, came to speak with Jesus. Teacher, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are proof enough that God is with you. I assure you, unless you were born again, you can never see the kingdom of God. He told many stories, such as this one. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seeds fell on the footpath, and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The plants sprang up quickly, but they soon wilted beneath the hot sun and died, because the roots had no nourishment in the shallow soil. Other seeds fell among thorns, that shot up and choked out the tender blades. But some seeds fell on fertile soil and produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand. They drag it up onto the shore, sit down, sort the good fish into crates, and throw the bad ones away. That is the way it will be at the end of the world. The angels will come and separate the wicked people from the godly, throwing the wicked into the fire. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Every teacher of religious law who has become a disciple in the kingdom of heaven is like a person who brings out of the storehouse the new teachings as well as the old treasure that a man discovered hidden in a field. In his excitement, he hid it again and sold everything he owned to get enough money to buy the field and to get the treasure too. And I saw heaven open and behold, a white horse and he that sat upon it was called faithful and true. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. And he hath on his vesture, and on his thigh, a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And that is how Jesus will come back to earth again. 
So we just finished The Kingdom of God. That one was a good one. It was um, half the length of the other one that we did, The Life of Christ. And that one seemed to be about the same storyline mm -hmm. almost. But, like, The Life of Christ goes back farther. Yeah. Um, this one was really good. I liked how they covered a lot of parables in mm -hmm. here as well. Along with kind of, like, what it means to enter the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But also, if you want to check out our other videos from Bible Walk before, there'll be a link down below to mm -hmm. check out that. The year is 34 AD. Approximately 2,000 Christians suffered martyrdom during this time. The first martyr was Stephen, a man full of faith, the Holy Ghost, and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogues disputing with Stephen, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. Then they cried out with a loud voice and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And Saul was consenting unto his death. At that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. As for Saul, he continued to make havoc of the church and entering into every house and hauling men and women into prison. If he find any along the way, whether they be men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, the one that you are persecuting. It is hard for you to kick against the prince. And Saul, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what, what will you have me to do? Arise and go into the city, and you will be told what you are to do. Go your way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus that appeared unto you in the way as you came has sent me that you might receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received his sight. Saul preached Christ in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. Saul, who had once been trained as a Pharisee in the persecution of the church, was now to prepare himself for another and quite a different calling as a minister of Jesus Christ as a preacher to the Gentiles and as an apostle to the world. As the apostles before walked with Jesus and were personally trained by Jesus, Paul was trained for the next three years in the Arabian desert. Christ Jesus, because of my preaching to you Gentiles. As you already know, God has given me this special ministry of announcing his favor to you, the Gentiles. God himself has revealed his secret plan to me. And this is the secret plan. The Gentiles have equal share with the Jews in all the riches inherited by God's children. Both groups have believed the good news and both are a part of the same body and enjoy together the promise of blessings Christ Jesus. Chosen by God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus and from our brother Timothy. We always pray for you and we give thanks to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You do this because you are looking forward to the joys of heaven for he has rescued us from the one who rules the kingdom of darkness 
and he has brought unto us the kingdom of his dear son, the one in whom God created everything in heaven and earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see. Christ is the head of the church, which is his body. He is the first of all who will rise from the dead, so he is the first in everything. So we just finished the journey of Paul, and that one was really short. I mean, it was good. It was just, like, really, really short. Like, it's, maybe 20 minutes, not 30. Yeah. And it was one room, and you just go down and then come back. Mm -hmm. and but it was, it was called good. Amazing Grace, but it is, like, the journey of Paul. Mm -hmm. So we just got done at Bible Walk. It was fun. I think Nathan enjoyed it. It was his first time. What did you think, Nate? Yeah, it was good. What did you like the best? Um, Kingdom of God. Kingdom of I God. Like I like that one, one the best too. We'll have to bring him back to do the ones that we've done before. Um, mm -hmm. Like Faith said, we'll link the video down below um, when we came here the first time. Um, the video covers, I believe it was the one that was the Old Testament. Yeah. Um, we mm -hmm. had come once before and did the Life of Christ, but we didn't film it. Oh, yeah. That was when we came for the very first time. We've been three times and we still have more to do. Um, we'll have enough to come back at least one or two more times. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not like a one and done, but you could do all of them in one day, but it would be an all day affair. But that's pretty I liked much it. it. It was a good day. Yeah. Thanks for watching today's video. See, See you guys, guys next time. time. Bye. Bye.